Hey guys, Dragon here from MuseShop.net and today we're talking about properly working with layers within Adobe Muse. Layers is an awesome feature for properly organizing your content. Having layers on your website lets you avoid your content overlapping, especially from master pages and top level pages. And now I'm going to show you our own method of layering websites in Muse. We have the content layer. And that's the most used layer. This is where all your main content goes. And then we have several other layers which all have their part in a quality web design. Let's go from top to bottom. Here we have the overlay layer and this is the layer reserved for anchor links because you always want to see those. You don't want to lose an anchor link below an image or a rectangle or, or whatever. And in this layer you put something that you want to be sure that will be on top everything else. For instance, page preloaders that need to cover the entire website or back to top button, which you also want above anything else. Then we have the master menu and it's pretty self-explanatory. In this layer, we only put our master menu and by that I mean the navigational menu of our website. We also have the mobile menu for when we reach the lower breakpoints. We don't want our menus to interact with each other. And we have the footer menu. And even though the footer is below the content when you scroll on your page, footer contains footer usually contains very important information and you don't want your footer rolling beneath your content when it appears. Then as I said, we have the content which basically holds all the page elements except the menus and the footer. And finally we have the underneath layer. That's the complete opposite of the overlay. That's the layer where you want to put something you need to put below everything else. And this is usually for video backgrounds and parallax backgrounds. The best example of where the layers play an important role is when master pages and top level pages combine. So if you have a master page and a top level page and you put two things on the same layer on both pages, you can never be sure which item will be on top of which item. And that's why you need to have separate layers. For instance, if we only had one layer and put our menu in that one layer on our master page and if we make it fixed so it doesn't move and then we put some content on the top level page on the same layer. And if you start to scroll, your content might overlap your menu, which you definitely don't want. And without layers, you wouldn't have control of that. So that's the best example I can think of for explaining how the layers work. So if you're using one of our themes, you will definitely find this setup being used. And if you're starting a new website and want to build it the proper way, you might want to use our own method of layering Muse websites. And that's it. Thank <laughs> you.